Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope that everyone is well. <laughs> um, right now I'm just creasing because I decided to have a little millennial moment and put my hair in a side parting. I hope that you guys love it. Um, I've been rewatching a straight. I've been rewatching a show called Stranger Things, and I realized I really fit in that world, like that sort of era. I feel like I look so 80s, even when my hair's like naturally down, middle part, whatever. Why is that? Is it the curls? Anyways. Today is going to be about white florals. So I think when people think white florals, they think of like soapy, laundry detergent, grandma, but there's so many like different categories of white florals. So how many notes are there? So there's like tuberose, um, gardenia, lily of the valley, a um, few more, but today I think they're all quite different. But these are genuinely beautiful white floral perfumes. And I think two of my favorites are going to be at the end, these two here. Um, and there is one that really surprised me, but um, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's crack on. Latafa and Sam Gold, I talk about this in most of my videos. Do you know, I wouldn't really, I never knew that Orange Blossom was actually like a white floral though. I thought that it was orange. But to me, Orange Blossom fragrances, I find that they can all smell quite similar. Like um, Love Don't Be Shy, um, Oriana by Parfums de Mali, Diptyque Dosson. And this one is a clone of Love Don't Be Shy, you guys already know, but it smells super identical, very beautiful, very stunning, very gourmand, very sweet, like toothachingly sweet. Oh, and that orange blossom is just divine, and that candy marshmallow. So I'm only including this in the video if you want like a edible gourmand white floral note, but it doesn't really smell white floral. It just smells divine and candy-like, and the Performance on this one is fantastic, guys. This is a long-lasting perfume. Very affordable, very, very good quality. And it smells exactly like Love Don't Be Shy. So buy this instead, guys, please. So, so stunning. Mm -mm -mm. But even for me, I can only wear this in wintertime on a very, very cold day because it really is so sweet, like tooth-achingly sweet. So be mindful, guys. Guerlain Terracotta. Now I purchased this guys because people describe this as a very creamy um, coconut holiday scent and yeah, till this day, I genuinely do not get coconut. I smell tiari flower and jasmine. Jasmine is very, very potent this one. You need to like jasmine. I actually don't like jasmine, but I feel like in this one, it's done in a nice way. Um, and for some reason, I've noticed so many people love this fragrance on me. I remember when I used to work, um, when I pop in, people, like five people in a row would instantly compliment me on this. I noticed for me, the longevity is poor, but in the first hour, it really does project. Like, the sillage is fantastic. Like, people can smell me from another room. Um, and I remember it was very funny. One of my memories that I remembered recently, Jesus, um, my colleague, she smelled this and I asked her to draw what this smells like, you know, her emotions, and she drew a silly little picture of her, like, flying, and there's, like, a floral field, but so many people love this on me, and so many people were asking for the name on it, the name of it, sorry, um, and I remember one of my colleagues, I passed her, and she said, oh, is that a jasmine perfume, and I said, yeah, it has jasmine, so yeah, very, very endodic jasmine in this one with tiare flower, Sunscreeny, tropical vacation, more sophisticated, very feminine, beautiful, not synthetic by any means, and more refined and sophisticated, guys. It's, it's nice. I was just disappointed because the coconut is just not creamy at all. I don't smell any coconut, but it is definitely a stunning scent. Mohra Silky Rose. Now, guys, I didn't like this in the beginning because it was very generic um, rose type of scent, but this is stunning. Oh my goodness. Yeah, even now, like, oh my gosh, okay. Something about Latafa fragrances is a lot of people talk about this, but Latafa, for some reason, you just need to let them marinate for like a year, a very, very long time, where right? I find with designer perfumes, it can take maybe two weeks. Oh my God, this is stunning. Okay, so Lily of the Valley, rose and candy-like, and a bit musky, but this is so, so stunning. I don't really, I like floral notes, but this one is just, it's very floral, but for some reason, there's a candy-like sweetness in this. And I think raspberry, which I don't like raspberry, but this one is done in a very nice way. It's sweet and it's not sour, but it's not too sweet. Like, it's just... 
Oh, yeah, this is a bouquet of flowers and in a very, very nice way with the right amount of sweetness. And I smell Lily of Devani in this one. It's not soapy, it's not vintage, like it's just blended very nicely. It's there, it's definitely there. It's blended in such a beautiful way. Rose, raspberry, and Lily of Devani. Very pretty, a very, very pretty perfume. Light to moderate performance, I would say. I get maybe three to four hours, which isn't too bad for me. But yeah, this one has really surprised me. Bulgari Bacchiami. Now guys, another fragrance that nobody talks about. This is unusual because it has such little notes. Um, but I smell strawberry and gardenia. Gardenia is a probably one of my favorite like um, white floral notes or floral notes in general. But I find gardenia, it's a very specific scent. And for some reason, it just instantly adds electronic milky accord to a fragrance. I don't know why. Oh gosh, I can't cut, um, can't shut the lid. Okay. Um, oh gosh, a candy-like sweetness. Okay, guys, so let me start off by saying I have this little 10 ml size and I'm super satisfied with it. It is a relatively expensive fragrance, but I just want to say it's a nice creamy electronic fragrance. Um, and I think the depth that this has is like a little bit of spice. We'll see. But, um... I don't really think that it's worth the money, like, when you spend £200 on a fragrance, you want it to take you on a journey, you want it to have, like, a strong base. This one, it's really, really nice, I like it, but I feel like you can smell, you can probably purchase a fragrance out there that is very, very affordable. So it's not groundbreaking, but I like it. So the notes are very, very minimal, but for me, I smell strawberry. Oh gosh. And what does this have? Yeah, gardenia. And the gardenia just makes it so electronic and so creamy. So strawberry, vanilla, gardenia. And I think it dries down to a bit of a spice. Now, surprisingly, guys, the notes are very light and airy. Um, but it does last. I get, like, moderate performance. Five to six hours. I really, really like this. And yeah, there's just that weird warm spice, very, very subtle there. And I think that is the depth of this fragrance. Guys, I absolutely adore lactonic creamy fragrances. But I think I like it when they have a strong base, like sandalwood. Um, a strong base, I don't know how to explain it. But they can't be too, you know, silky. There needs to be something that keeps it, keeps the base strong. But it is very, very nice. Um, I would only really wear this in wintertime because it is so lactonic and so, so creamy. Strawberry isn't listed here, but I definitely smell it. Very, very nice scent. And I think if you can get a, if you have an opportunity to purchase a 10ml of this, definitely do it. But I don't know. I never really complain about fragrances like prices. I try not to. But for £200, I'm glad I don't have the full bottle. Maybe in the future I'll purchase it. But it's nothing groundbreaking. Like, I feel like there is definitely a scent that you maybe have smelled that is very, very affordable. But yeah, super, super lovely and very underrated. Nobody ever talks about it. Okay, so I was talking about a perfume that really, really surprised me. And this is Higher by La Tefa. Now, guys, I purchased this in, like, November last year. I'm not doing the math. Okay, that's probably, like, 100 months. <laughs> no, almost a year. But I remember at the time, it just smelled um, clean. Um, shampooy and strawberry frutella, but now it's opened up in such a beautiful way. Goodness, I was caught off guard. Um, there are days when you just like go through your perfume collection and it's like a little store. You can't stop smelling different perfumes. But this one, okay, yeah, I smell strawberry and gardenia. The gardenia in this one is so creamy and so, so lactonic. I um, mean, it's really shined through. And I also smell caramel. The caramel is stunning. So, strawberry, um, gardenia, a very milky gardenia, and caramel. A bit shampooy, but I like it. I don't know, I feel like it's bit, it's, started to, it's starting to have more depth in it, and I really like it. Um, and yeah, that just really caught me off guard. It's nothing groundbreaking. Um, performance is light to moderate, maybe three to four hours. Definitely over spray. It's definitely not an... It's definitely not a groundbreaking perfume, but I feel like this will be fun if you just collect um, pretty, juvenile, girly type of scents. Yeah, nothing groundbreaking at all, but I really like how the gardenia just shined through after like how many months? Mm, I get cravings for this, especially as of late. Like I've definitely been using it and just spraying it. It's so, so comforting. Okay, so I have this little um, 10 ml of Mansara Velvet Vanilla. Now guys, Velvet Vanilla, I purchased another 10 ml like a year ago. 
and I hated it. Two Burrows. This is Two Burrows. Very, very sweet, very bubble gummy. At the time, I hated Two Burrows. It was very, very, very animalic. Like for me, this perfume smelled very overripe, indolic, animalic, whatever you want to call it. Um, but one day I just craved Two Burrows and I craved this, so I ordered it again. And what happened was my previous 10 ml, um, it wasn't secured properly, I don't know why, and so it was still brand new, I didn't get to like test it much. It fell on the floor, spilled everywhere, and I just stood there. Um, <laughs> you, you live and you learn, I think everything happens for a reason. Um, and so a few months later, when I got the craving for Manta or Velvet Vanilla, I just purchased this 10 ml, and trust me guys, I will definitely be buying a full bottle of this when I use this up. I want to spray this on my skin, I don't even want to spray it on people, like I just don't want to waste it. Um, now, this doesn't smell animalic to me at all, or indolic, it's just a very creamy, sweet, sweet, sweet tuberose, a very bubblegummy tuberose, and that's it, maybe vanilla, it's very bimbo-like, it's very sweet and enticing, and I just don't understand now how I could have hated it, like, how? Um, but nonetheless, like, I wouldn't recommend this for beginners, um, because tuberose really is a ch challenging scent, it took me, like, a year, um, to befriend tuberose. Oh my gosh. No, I really, really like it. But definitely try and see if you can buy a sample of this, guys. This is second place in terms of white florals. This is super, super stunning. Oh my gosh. And it just... It, the sweetness hits the spot. It hits my sweet craving. Oh gosh. I can't wait to, like, use this up and purchase a 120ml bottle. Okay, and finally, the top white full fragrance and this is Johnu Noir, you guys know this one a clone of Dama Bianca and I had a very kind subscriber who told me that it does smell very similar to Dama Bianca because I've never smelled the original Dama Bianca but guys, okay this is another fragrance that I don't want to spray on paper it's a waste, I don't want to spray on my skin so it's very annoying in terms of, this is a Middle Eastern brand, Al Haramain the lid is plasticky and for an Arabian fragrance that's supposed to be affordable in a clone, this was relatively expensive. I think I spent maybe £70 on it. Um, and the name, like, completely fell off. Um, the longevity is fantastic, but let me show you the spray. Like, do you see how it's very, um, can you see the oil? It's very direct, like, it's very small and minimal. Never had that before. Oh my god, <laughs> sorry, I just hit myself. <laughs> um, okay, okay, um, what can I say? So... I just don't like the packaging, um, but I like the liquid inside, like it really does perform, it's a very good quality, but I just wish that this was a bit better. So guys, this is a very witchy, violet, cosmetics, powdery, like vanilla, um, oh. wait, what is that? Yeah, Lily of the Valley, Lily of the Valley is the white floral, floral note in this perfume, so Lily of the Valley, um, vanilla and violet, and it's so... It's blended in a really nice way, and I noticed with time, the white floral note became quite strong. But it's just so, so beautiful. Like, I don't understand how you could maybe hate this fragrance, because... I think in the beginning, the white floral note was very animalic and dolic, like a bit challenging, but... With time, it became so beautiful, and this is a perfume that I've been reaching for lately. Um, I just find it's very easy to reach, like it's just inoffensive, it's, it's very inoffensive, so classy, so feminine, so beautiful, and witchy. I don't know why, but I just think it's very richy, sorry, rich mansion, um, witchy type of scent, blonde hair, esoteric, so, so beautiful, mm. and it's like creamy almost. I think I used to describe this as yogurt-like, it used to be a bit sour on my skin, but no. This is so, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think this is a fragrance that I will always have in my collection. Um, and when I'm done with this one, I'll definitely purchase backup bottles as soon as I get the opportunity to. Um, a very worthy fragrance, amazing price, and just a good quality scent. But very unique. You've definitely never smelled anything in your life that smells remotely similar to this fragrance. And the longevity is fantastic. It's long-lasting. Long-lasting, definitely. Um, and very oily. Oh my gosh, okay, I just... The, this scent is just so, so divine. Yeah, this is definitely number one. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I want to say? Anything that I'm missing? Um, let me think for a minute. I think that's it. No, a very nice scent. I don't... I don't know what Oris Rue Comquat 
smells like and I genuinely don't get the lime. Um, maybe if you're in like a tropical tropical country, you know what kumquat smells like, but I don't think I've even eaten kumquat. <laughs> okay guys, need to stop yapping. Thank you so so much for watching this video. Guys, have an amazing evening. Thank you so much. Bye bye.